Lisboa. Lisboa. And welcome to another episode of Happy Hour TV. I'm Masaru Wikandabu. And I'm Komal Singh. We'll take you on a journey to share with you the best stories happening in and around Fiji at the moment. Tune in regularly so that we can bring you Fiji Feel Good vibes that will bring you a smile. Make sure you hit like and subscribe from wherever you're watching this right now. To start us off, let's head down to Nandi. And that's Fiji's tourism hub, where the newly established Watt City Market is literally stopping traffic. Oh, it's been tempting locals with their deals on clothing, food, and also handicraft. We caught up with Craig Powell, CEO of Nandi Town Council, for a quick chat about this thriving new market and council's plans for this budding city. Sambula Craig. Hey, Sambula Masada. Why the market and why now? We wanted to start this market to inspire locals to be entrepreneurial especially at a time like this when they've been impacted by COVID-19. We never envisioned that it would become this popular. We've got those in the tourism industry here now with stalls uh, showcasing their resourcefulness. We accommodate all those who are unemployed on a first come first serve basis. We do not permit the sale of any illegal items. Cooked food has to be prepared at home following our safety protocols because safety remains our top priority. We wish to improve our existing services and introduce new amenities and attractions uh, that will bring people to Nandi, create business for the local community and showcase what Nandi is truly all about. What I have seen is that our locals can be very creative and I'm hoping that Bot City will produce a new line of products that can be sold locally or exported abroad. I believe that out of disaster comes opportunity and that we have to reinvent ourselves to continue to evolve. What's your favorite find at the market? Weekly dose of sour sub juice with a hint of mint. Naka Craig. Naka Masara. And all the best. You know, they say that crisis breeds innovation. One of the most surprising things about this pandemic is there's a number of small businesses that are popping all over the place. You know what? Absolutely. My social feed is flooded with food posts. I'm a foodie, so good food, good vibes, I'm there. These next stories will make your tummy happy because we got to talk to a few operators and their COVID hustle. Check this out. Bullet Road, Bullet Road, Nakabala. And sweet spot you have here, man. So, what's the inspiration for this? Inspiration behind Vasanga, the sheer hustle when COVID 19 hit us. Us being caterers, losing a few contracts on the movies came devastating for us. So, sitting back at home one day, I told the boys, hey, you can want to open up a shop or what? They can build it. Where are you going to open it? I said, oh, we're going to open it at the market. They said, okay, set. We sell something that's a niche market to Nandi. Do spit roasting and smoking. Something that's close to every islander's soul. Our pork, you know, our beef. Some of the greatest and freshest vegetables we can accompany it with our meats. So what's the best thing on your menu? The caveman is the best thing that's happening right now in Wasanga Productions. That's my brother. Yes, yeah, bro, man. Not good, man. <laughs> that looked delicious. You mm -hmm. just need something sweet afterwards. Oh, I have an interesting fact for you, Masada. Mm -hmm. So did you know that the dessert stomach is an actual thing? No. So your stomach expands when it comes in contact with sugar, therefore making room for your dessert, despite having that feeling of being full. Oh, wow. I followed up with a new cater too this week. Take a look at this. Bulavika, thank you for having us here. So it looks like you're getting really popular online. Tell us a little bit about how you got started with this venture. So I had a former co-worker who posted up on Facebook that she'd love uh, somebody to make donuts for her daughter's 16th birthday. So I volunteered and we whipped up the donuts and it was a hit. Being able to thrive during this pandemic it had to be a family affair. We realized that we needed to work together and this is a great learning experience for my two teenagers. So one's doing the glazing, the other one's packing, my husband's frying. We realized we cannot do it without each other. So what has got to be your yummiest flavor? My latest favorite is the lemon cream cheese field donut. And thanks to Chef Sito, you can find them at Canoe. Oh my God, my dessert stomach is kicking in. Masada, before we conclude, let's hear it from our weatherman about our weather forecast. Bula! It is beautiful right now. Warm days and cool nights. Perfect place to explore some of our off-beaten tracks. Remember to hit like and subscribe to this channel for more feel-good Fiji stories. 
even better. Share yours with us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us on Happy Hour TV. We're sharing a love from the beautiful Fiji Islands. And until next time, Misa Marles!